Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So let's start off with Drake and Tanaje. So, you know, yesterday briefly I went over, um, you know, what I was made aware of in regards to Drake and Tanaje. And basically they have a few unreleased records. Well, actually they got leaked. They're on SoundCloud and probably on YouTube. Um of a collaboration and the reason why uh drake never released those records and kind of pulled the plug is because allegedly he tried to get with tanaje but she wasn't really interested at that time now remind you this was in 2013 2014 drake looks kind of i wouldn't i wouldn't say completely different but he looks way different you know what I'm saying? You got the fake abs now. His beard is a little uh, more uh, scruffier. You know, he has the waves. You know, maybe she wasn't attracted to him. I don't know. But, you know, she tried. he tried to get with her. And she, you know, allegedly turned him down. Maybe she had a boyfriend. And he kind of pulled a plug on the collaborations. And we already know how Drake gets down. I mean, think about it. If you look at... All the women that Drake collaborates, most of them he smashes. If we being completely honest, I mean, Janae Aiko, uh, Rihanna, J-Lo, Georgia Smith, like, come on. So, you know, that's just how he gets down and there's nothing you could really do about it. I mean, he's Drake. He's one of the, you know, highest selling male rappers, okay, in the world. So... I don't really expect much. Moving on to Rihanna and ASAP, allegedly they are making music together. Um, you know, people on Twitter are saying that it's a joint album. I got back that it's a few songs, you know, it's a few songs that they're making together. Rihanna does not need to be making no joint albums with ASAP Rocky. Nobody even asked for an ASAP Rocky and a Rihanna record. Like, come on, man. It's not 2012. Like, you need to be collaborating with, like, Nicki, Beyonce. Like, you don't need to be collaborating with an ASAP Rocky. We see enough of you guys. But anyway, also, um, you know, that documentary is probably never coming out. Okay? Now, I would like for it to come out because, you know, I got Amazon Prime and I just want the tea. But you got to be careful when you're spilling tea about certain people, you know. And Rihanna really should know better than trying to throw a camel face under the bus. I mean, come on. You know better than that. Look at all the people that try to throw camel face under the bus, Dane Dash, Riddle Aura, and look at where their careers are. You got to be careful. Now... Um, I also heard that Beyonce is releasing music and she's supposed to be doing some sort of musical movie on Netflix or HBO. So hopefully that happens too. Moving on to Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. Um, I did get back. Thank you, Miriam. Um, she did tell me that the court case did get pushed back to October. Now, you can go check this out on docketbird.com where they have all the cases because she sent me a screenshot um, of the document, okay? Um, basically, there's no um, explanation why it got pushed back. It just got pushed back, okay? Now, hopefully, this, the, this doesn't interfere with her um, rollout. But like I said before, she wants to travel with Kenneth Petty. He is her husband. They have a child together. I understand. I just want music, okay? I want music, Nikki. I don't want to have to wait another year for the fifth thing thing because it was supposed to come out in 2019, okay? And I'm just getting a little antsy because these other rap chicks aren't doing it. Let's just be all the way 1,000. These other rap chicks ain't doing it. And I just feel like the stalling is just going to make me a little agitated, okay? Because I can only wait so much, okay? Um, but let me know what you guys think. Could you wait another year for the fifth thing thing? I don't think some of y'all could, okay? Because y'all ask a lot about Nikki. I don't think some of y'all could wait another year. 
Also, I did hear that Nikki could be getting into fashion, possibly. Okay, now um, another clothing collaboration. Now, she had that deal with Fendi. I don't know if that thing still exists because, you know, she hasn't really put out a collection since 2019, which makes sense because, you know, obviously COVID-19 happened and we don't want the situation with Rihanna to happen to Nikki, where you got to kind of close it down and then kind of reopen it. Because that's what happened to Fenty. She released Fenty in late 2019. It was supposed to be a luxury brand. None of her fans could afford it. And, you know, they kind of had to revamp everything, which is good. But, you know, to announce it is kind of embarrassing. The point of the matter is, you know, it makes sense for Nikki to do fashion because, A, a lot of these chicks copy her looks you know when she was doing the long hair everybody else was doing it everybody started rocking fendi when she started rocking fendi okay so it makes a lot of sense for her to get back into the fashion realistically nikki should have her own wig line a makeup line because a lot of these chicks want to look like her and that's just the honest truth you know i think she should definitely do a wig line um, you know, she would just collaborate with a person that already has a wig line and, you know, do different types of colors. And she has Eric and Tate. She should just collaborate with him, you know, because he knows who the best, um, you know, companies with the best hair. Because he does hair for a living and he tells people all the time when a hair is trash. He was like, oh, this is the worst hair ever if you if you watch him on Instagram. So it makes a lot of sense. So let me know what you guys think um, about the case, Drake and Tanaje, Rihanna releasing music. OK, with ASAP Rocky, um, I feel like we deserve a Rihanna, Beyonce and Nicki Minaj record. I feel like that's something that they should just do for the culture. Everybody talking about Little Kim and Nicki for the culture. What about a Rihanna, Beyonce, and Nicki Minaj record for the culture? That makes more sense. Because this has been going on for what? Like the past five, six years? I mean, Little Kim and Nicki, that would be great. But Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and um, Beyonce, that's monumental. Okay. That's really going to be like trending for the whole year. Okay. Not just for like a couple months, maybe a couple weeks for a whole year. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.